Hi guys, so I want to show you guys what I did as I told you guys that I would come back once dinner was ready. So I have my cauliflower au gratin. It's like a macaroni and cheese. Nice, beautiful, extra cheesy. Then I have some yucca here and some boiled plantains. I told you I'm trying to keep it low carb. I have a Caesar salad because um, everyone's not um, at the table yet. I'm going to toss that in with some good... Um, croutons and some Caesar salad etc I also made a carrot salad very simple it also has some golden raisins as well as regular raisins in there and then here is my pork loin now if you saw the first video you'll notice that it shrunk a lot extremely now that's one of the things that's gonna happen when you are um, cooking because your meat will shrink so it had an excess amount of fat, you know, that was removed. Here it is. And I have a second jar as well, not including some that I had already thrown away. Now, this is the sauce that was made from the drippings of the pork tenderloin. And um, what I did was that I went and put it through a sieve and then I went through and reduced it. And there is our sauce. And then again, there it is. So you guys, thank you so much. I'm not going to stay on because I'm going to hurry up and get everyone to the table. And then I'm going to toss the salad with some of the dressing, the Caesar salad dressing. Thank you so much for coming up. This is a wonderful salad. If you want to see how I prepared it, I made all of this today, you guys. I promise you everything was made today today living my way hello yeshid amohulua hi welcome this is the first time huh thank you so much thank you it's always so <laughs> thank you living my way so this my son said oh mom it looks better than regular macaroni and cheese we'll see what happens so I don't know if you guys have ever had yucca. There's my yucca and my boiled plantains. Very simple, low in fat. This doesn't have any butter in it, you guys. Honestly, it is low in fat. They think that it's heavy in fat and it's all, you know. But honestly, it is super healthy the way I've prepared. And if you want to see how that was made, let me know. Comment down below or once the stream is done, let me know. And my pork tenderloin, so delicious, so juicy, and it is amazing. I did cut off a little piece on the side so I could taste it. Hi, PR Beauty. Long time no see, my sweetheart. How are you? How's your beautiful daughter? How's her dancing? Oh, I want to see some more videos, PR Beauty. All right. Yes, and it is, oh, thank you. It is beautiful. It is beautiful. It is delicious. That's the thing. You want everything to be beautiful, but you want it to be simple. And this is a simple recipe. You don't want to add too much into it. You don't want to put too much into it so that you lose the gist of the flavor. And the whole point is you want it to be cheesy, like a cheesy macaroni and cheese. And with all the good flavor of the cheese. I did use sharp cheddar. I did use mozzarella cheese in that. No butter. I did use it, um, the base, with a little flour just as I was doing the macaroni and cheese with this. And so it really, really, whole milk as well, really came out delicious. Yucca. I know some of you know what yucca is. Yucca usually has like a, a string going through the middle. I remove that so that once everyone starts eating, they'll be able to start digging in and they won't have to pull the string because it's a, a strong vine. But there you have it. Your boiled bananas. These are the green ones, by the way. These are not the yellow plantains. These are the green ones. And they turned kind of yellow, just a tad, but not too much. Oh, <laughs> I definitely will. Come on over. Come on over. I always have room for everyone, all of my friends here. You all are my family, you guys. You know that. You guys are my family. Once you come in to join my stream, once you come in and join my journey, you are family to me. You start to know so much about me. You are family. Healthy eating is best. And like I said, I'm cutting carbs. I have a wedding next year. I'm the matron of honor. And I want to look good. All right? So I have to start now. The wedding is next year. But I want to look good. I want to look amazing. Outer heaven, heathen, outer heathen. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Maybe I should leave the picture on the star of the show here, which is my roast pork loin. 
<laughs> okay, outer heaven. All right, all right. Sorry about that, outer heaven. Thank you. So welcome to the stream. I appreciate you coming in. Freddie's food review. Freddie, hello. Welcome to the stream. It's always a pleasure to have everyone to come in and see what's going on, what's going on in my kitchen today. Um, so in there you have it. You don't want to add your dressing onto that because then it's going to be nice, um, very mushy. You just want everything to be nice and crisp. I like a nice crisp Caesar salad. I don't know about you, but I don't like anything saucy, soupy. So I leave it there. And then I have the focaccia. They can throw, um, this one is a focaccia crouton. It tastes amazing. I got this from Costco for $5.99. And it just tastes wonderful. And that's the one that I keep buying because it tastes amazing. You want stuff that's going to taste amazing. You want products that are going to be excellent. And when you're cooking, and excellent when you're eating. And then you know what? You're going to get a lot of reviews. And that's what you want. You want good reviews, you want good likes, you want people to say, wow, this is delicious. So, Ayi Kirin, Kyrene, thank you, welcome. Um, Are they vegan? Let's take a look. Uh, I have no idea, you know, I have no idea. Um... Let's look at the ingredients here. Uh, the ingredients. Um, I see, I think I see milk. Is there milk in here? Cheese. I see Parmesan cheese. I'm going to say no. Because <laughs> nothing um, with milk byproducts are vegan. So that is not vegan, unfortunately. So hope i answered the question but um and my meal isn't vegan either sorry this is as vegan as it is because this has mayo in it so oh these as well these two yes 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 and you know what and we might think that it's difficult to cook for people that are vegan but it actually is pretty um, simple and delicious. I've tried a couple of dishes um, that are vegan because I was on the Daniel fast. And honestly, this isn't vegan, of course, but my soups that I've made, the yuca, the plantains, those are all vegan, of course, because there's nothing added to them. And even if you wanted to rejudge this a little bit, you can always add um, some diced peppers, onions to this, bell peppers, um, and you can toss that with some garlic. I'm talking about the yuca. And you can add the plantain once they're completely cooked. So at this stage right here, what you can do is toss that in some olive oil and make it nice and delicious and boost up the flavor so that it's not so dry. The reason why I did not um, toss that in some olive oil is because I wanted to keep the calories down. So... Even here, you can see where I toss that lightly, very, um, no, these I put in the oven and let them grill on top of the pork roast towards the end. But the ones in here is the ones I just slightly, slightly, slightly um, toss that into a little bit of oil. But you can see there's a little bit of fat still in there because of the pork roast. Like I said, I used the drippings from the pork roast to make the sauce. Did not add any water to it at all because it reduced so much. If you see the video that I did today, the live stream, you will see how huge it was. When I uncovered this loin, I was so shocked. I looked at myself and said, if there was someone else in the house, I would have said someone cut half of it. But no, it reduced because, of course, there's a lot of water in there. And I had this cooking for a good five to six hours, you guys, honestly. The first time I said four hours, but then I removed it and it started to fall apart. My goodness, this cannot be picked up. This will fall apart. I had to use my hands, put gloves and put them, put it on this platter because it was so moist and juicy. I also turned it on the other side just to make sure that it would firm up just to give it a nice little color sear under the broil. So that gave it a little strength, but I tell you, when I tell you this came out amazing, I give it a good five star. If it's a, a one out of five, I give it a complete five because it came out amazing. 
And if you want to know the recipe, if you want to know how it was done, let me know. Comment down below once we're done with the stream because it will be removed. And your comments will also help those others who are afraid to, you know, comment or whatever like that. But honestly, I don't mind the comments. I enjoy them actually. So thank you. Less forever. Thank you so much, my sweetheart. Oh, make friends, everyone. Yes, yucca and plantains are very yummy and they are very healthy for you. Extremely healthy for you. Very, very healthy. Like I said, the only thing that's not too healthy, I would say, would be, well, the cheese, of course, if you're talking about that, the cheese. But then this carrot salad. Now, I've made this a couple of times for people's um, get-togethers, like a baby shower, or if we had a tea or something like that, because it's always requested. Come on over, Freddie. Absolutely. No, come on over. <laughs> so if you can see, you can see some golden raisins over here, and then I have, I mixed them up. I, You know what? I just wanted to make it nice and colorful and pretty, and I love the raisins in there. So only simple. I only use mayonnaise. I put vinegar in this. Um, I did add about two tablespoons of sugar, but remember the sugar from the carrots alone, the sweetness of the carrots, you really don't have to add too much sugar. So I use Hellman's mayonnaise. I use, like I said, good quality ingredients will get you a good, good quality food. Now, Hellman's mayonnaise, I use some um, sun-made raisins. I usually, like I said, I like to buy in bulk, but you know what? You have to use your judgment. Are you using a lot? Like I said, this was 10 pound bag of carrots that I purchased for only $1.98. And that's why I said, you know what? Today's meal, I can add a carrot salad. So these are items and things that you can use in like the pork roast. We're not going to eat all of this. We're four in a family. My, young, my um, daughter, she's not going to eat much of that. You know, so what I'm going to be making, I'm going to be making some bami sandwiches. So look out for that recipe, you guys. The Vietnamese sandwiches, they are excellent. They are good to go to work with. You just get a nice, crunchy, fresh baguette to put on there. And oh my goodness, again, and I'm going to be using the carrots. I'm going to cut up my carrots, get some daikon cabbage and put that in some vinegar. And then it works deliciously. You lose nothing. Nothing goes to waste. And everyone is happy. Everyone is satisfied. And guess what your pockets will thank you sorry you guys i don't know but like i said your bank account is gonna be looking lovely and so oh you're freddie thank you so much my dear thank you i don't know why it's doing that i don't know is it because it's rush hour <laughs> but like i said use good quality ingredients and like i, I get the sun-made raisins and i keep them to make sure that it stays fresh i keep it in another plastic bag you can put that and then i bake cookies with this and then i um you know whatever kind of ingredients you, you you know you need you just add that to it and it is a wealth a wealth a wealth of flavor it doesn't dry out it tastes amazing thank you and welcome for the other the two people that just came into the stream I'm talking about my pork roast that i made today and i think i started this um with jenny productions this morning it was not even nine o'clock in the morning so i have finally completed and this is what i cook you guys Oh my goodness, I just want to tell you how delicious the house smelled. All day, I said, oh my goodness, the door, it just permeated the house. The house smelled so good. Woo, it's, oh, I can't wait. Like I said, I can't wait for my husband and my son. My son already said, oh mom, I can't wait to sink my teeth into it. He even said, the cauliflower, this isn't macaroni and cheese, it's cheesy cauliflower. He said, that looks even better than macaroni and cheese. So you guys, I'm telling you. This, I'm telling you, the smell in here, I wish I had smell-o-vision. I don't know who's going to create that, but if someone creates it, you know, listen, hey, I will be on the ball. I will even apply or subscribe to or pay for a fee to get that because some of the things that you all create, etc., is just so amazing, so delicious. So, like I said, the carrot slaw, the carrot um, salad, amazing. If you haven't tried it, please do. It tastes amazing. I'm going to make my salad. And what else? We're going to cut into this pork. What do you guys want to see? Do you guys want to see me cut into it? Let me know. Give me a yes or a quick, um, 
let me know let me know what should I do if I should cut into this right now I promise you I will cut into it right now but I gotta see yeses I gotta see give me some yeses and then I promisely I promise you I gotta see about four yeses I have seven people in the comments give me those yeses and I promise you're gonna be cutting right into it right now yes I said it I'm cutting into it promise <laughs> Okay, no problem. Let me know when you're in town. You will be sitting at my table. I promise you that. And you won't regret it. So, let's cut into this because my friends and family would like for me to cut it. So, let's cut it. So, which side? Left or right? Let's go over here. Look at that. Oh, can you see that? I'm going to put that right here just to get a nice hole. I don't know why this is doing that, you guys soon as we get to the star of everything right so you can see look it's breaking apart did i not tell you guys that it would break apart i told you that it would break apart because it was so moist and delicious so you know what you guys and i'm telling you it's so delicious i'm gonna get a fork in there because i had already started tasting it and i said to myself my goodness these people are so spoiled here yes so spoiled okay it falls right mm. so good so delicious you guys try to make a pork tenderloin you guys i'm gonna go i'm gonna go feed the kids i hear them so the rude of me to be talking but <laughs> steven bowman welcome to the stream melvin jackson welcome 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 i'm talking about my pork loin here that was in the stove all day so i'm telling you so delicious so juicy look at that oh it's so amazing now you know there's two sides okay you'll notice that one of the sides the meat is much like a longer strand okay that's the side this side is where the ribs sit and this is the loin okay so, just to let you know that it's two cuts of meat on this particular. This is the loin, but this is the one that sits right next to the rib. So, you can see the meat. It looks like a pork, like ribs. Can you see that? Look at that. You can see two different things cooked the same way, same amount of time, but it's two different cuts. Can you see that? Let me see. If we can separate the onions off of this, you see? Look at that. It once it started to cook, and you could see like the if you notice right here, you'll notice there are like um that's where the bone sat, and uh, of course that's when they did the fillet. So this is your loin, and this is of course where it sets the rib. You guys, thank you for watching. I love you, love you, love you for coming in to visit me to see what's on my table. Thank you again. Come back again. And let's see what's going to be on the table next time, you guys. I bye. I love you so much for watching. I love you. Make friends. Please give loves. Give hug. Big like. Big love to each and every one of you. And there you go. One more time. Let's go in there with the creamy, creamy, cheesy cauliflower. This is the sauce made from the drippings of my tenderloin cut the tenderloin for you guys those are the two sides then we have our plantains and our yucca okay and then look at this where i put this how disrespectful of me <laughs> thank you so much thank y'all oh, he says that outer heaven says i'm so um the food presentation is so professional oh you're such a sweetheart very nice your babies are spoiled that they have good cooking thank you so much i was spoiled as a kid so you know what my mother cooked like this as well and then i have my lettuce because like i said you guys i'm gonna be the matron of honor of a wedding and i promise i'll bring you that information you'll see me maybe i should go ahead and go look at gowns with you guys but you guys can help me and then my carrot salad trying to keep it light trying to keep it delicious trying to keep it good good recipes good flavor good good ingredients quality ingredients that you're gonna love you're gonna be satisfied with 
most importantly, your family, and so will your mouth. You guys, I hope you've been affected. I love you, love you, love you for coming by. Thank you so much, you guys. I truly appreciate it. Words, I don't know. Words can't express what you mean to me. You guys mean the world to me. I love you guys for coming by. Thank you. Make friends. Give hugs. Give loves. Give likes to each and every one. And you know what? Come back again very soon. I love you for watching. Bye, guys. Questions, comments? I should have said that, right? Thank you. Thank you, Yajid. Thank you so much. You so you see, my heart is beating. Boom, 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 boom. Because I'm so in love with you guys. I love all of my subscribers. I love you all. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you. God bless you. Have a wonderful and blessed day and the rest of the week. Enjoy the rest of your week, guys. Bye.